Very good morning to you, Desri, and to our audiences. Indeed, you are coming to us live uh, just ahead of us speaking to yeah, the SG of right the Health right. Department. One will remember that uh, in June the 12th, we were invited here in this place at the provincial health offices where this scooter project was uh, uh, introdu introduced. One will remember that uh, each unit costed the department at least 100,000 and the overall uh, purchase cost um, a, a 10 million rands. Uh, this invited um, a barrage of criticism from various fronts including opposition uh, political parties and uh, various stakeholders of the health department. Now, yesterday uh, the special tribunal uh, released a statement saying that it has summoned the political head of the department which is Mama Usindi Sokomba and the HOT who is the accounting officer of the department um, is the, uh, I mean, pardon me, Dr. Tobile Mengashe and the CFO of the department to take them into confidence into the transaction, that 10 million transaction. transaction. So uh, we are now joined by the SG, Dr. Toby Lembengashe, and he will be speaking to us to that issue. So let's first start with uh, the, were you invited by the uh, special tri tribunal to speak uh, to the issue of this controversial, these controversial scooters? No, we have not been invited by the tribunal. Uh, we have not received a subpoena f uh, to the tribunal and uh, we were not uh, expected to be at the tribunal today. But what we know, uh, that's very important, uh, is that uh, we had papers from the SIU which stated that on this day, 18th of uh, September, they will be asking for an interdict against the department not to proceed with the procurement of the scooter, of the motorbikes, yeah. And subsequently to that, we consulted our legal teams and we confirmed to the ICSIU uh, that uh, we will not be uh, opposing their, uh, uh, um, their interdict uh, with the tribunal. Um, I think the third issue, what's very important is that uh, the department really regard the work of the SIU very important. We are fully cooperating with the SIU and we think it's an important uh, proclamation by the president. Now with regard to the tribunal, that's also the, um, the, uh, the creation of the, t uh, of, the, of the proclamation. Again, this is a court that we respect, we would not, not attend a tribunal if we were being asked to do so. We've checked with our legal teams because they are also talking to each other and they have found that there must have been misunderstanding or miscommunication, not from the tribunal, from the media statement that we issued. Okay, just a quick rewind, uh, Doc. Part of the controversy was the awarding of the tender. According to the SIU, it was awarded in a highly irregular uh, manner which contravened with the number of laws dealing with how public finances should be handled. What do you have to say about that? Yes, no, we've noted those and we think they are mainly uh, uh, factual misstatement in that and, and I think what the SIU in our understanding today the, is a part A of their, of their uh, submission and there's part B. Part A really deals with the stop the department from proceeding with the procurement of the scooter and that's what we've responded to. We have said on the part B when they have finalized their findings and they've actually provided with the information we'll be able to respond onto that but from where the department sits it has done what it was required to actually do the procurement and it has followed the rules to do so but I think it will inappropriate now to argue those matters while the matter is actually in front of the tribunal. I can only confirm that aspect in terms of the procurement. Yeah. Uh, Doc, uh, just clarify on this. Were, were the scooters meant to be part of the fleet, EMS, uh, EMS fleet? And yes. if so, uh, why weren't they procured through the transport yes. department? I mean, th this is a very important question. I mean, if you recall, as part of our intervention to the COVID-19, we did what was called a repurposing, a re-engineering of the entire health system in order to respond to the COVID. What was also very important in the COVID was that uh, elderly people 
with existing medical conditions, they were at greatest risk. And that was not just in the hospitals, it was also in the workplace and everyone else. So, so the idea was that any preparation for the normal working of hospitals and clinics was then has to be reconsidered on the basis of our response to the COVID-19. So there's absolutely nothing untoward of making sure, like for instance, we change a TB hospital to a COVID hospital and um, we change, we ask people not to come from their elective surgeries. We are actually way behind on immunization and other places because we needed to respond to this, in particular with the motorbikes. What's very important is that uh, we are on record that the MEC had put the motorbike into a policy speech. We had intended to actually procure those. There is on record that the minister and ourselves said that we can't transport patients on the motorbike. We accepted that guidance because it was in law and in policies and we accepted that and therefore we said we are not going to transport patients with a motorbike but the other work of procuring and delivering medicines and actually making sure that the primary health care with the community health worker does still exist and that would mean then there was need then to really consider our specifications for transportation of people and we had to take that out and uh, so that process has been followed so but I think I don't want to get into the details because those details are going to be part B and that are going to be post-investigation of the SIU, post-investigations of the Auditor General, post-investigation of the Hawks and we are fully cooperating onto those. From where we sit, we have really followed the National Treasury uh, um, you know, uh, uh, practice 3, 5 and 8 and we have really used and we have worked within the emergency that was there and the procurement was really different in terms during the emergency time. So that's all I really can say about that yeah sg thanks a lot for your time sir thank you and that's of course the superintendent general of the health department dr toby lemming taking us into confidence into regard with regards to the uh, purchase of these scooters and what appeared to be them being summoned for the to, to appear before the uh, special tribunal, he tells us that there has been a lot of miscommunication with, regarding that, and that they are fully cooperating with the SIU. From us here in East London, it's back to you in studio as well. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us, Yanga. Those conversations are really important as the uh, nation tries to grapple with conversations around COVID-19.